Let's start with the Orea V3 Mark II. The dripper is made of BPA-free polypropylene and it's black with a matte finish and this is the large dripper. I actually don't know if they are going to release the small version of this. The design is the same as the old model. Same board angle of steepness, uh, same bottom ring design and the same base system. Here, the small but also big change they did on the Orea V3 Mark II is inside on the bottom of the brewer. As you can see, there are small teeth all around the edge. 32 teeth in total that will help you during brewing. And the advantages are, first, when you fit the flat paper filter uh, with the negotiator, the teeth avoid the paper to end up inside the bottom ring, avoiding clogging and air lock. And second, they create 32 air pockets that will increase the air flow during brewing, giving us a better control. This gives us the fast flow feature that we like about Orea, uh, with no air lock, no clog and also maintain the paper filter flat. Also, what I found very nice about the teeth is that they are not coming um, up on the inside of the board so that we can still have the benefit of the reduced bypass uh, during brewing when we use the flat paper filter. If we use the Kalita style paper filter, uh, it's pretty simple, the paper fits perfectly. Kalita paper already have a higher uh, airflow compared to the flat paper filters. This new system, you know that clogging will happen rarely. I think this is a big improvement on the Orea V3 to achieve more consistency during brewing and you know that this is my goal. I started to brew with this dripper using the large Orea V3 brewing method that I share uh, on a video here on my channel and it works perfectly. Actually, it makes me feel more comfortable during brewing because I know that it won't clog, so I can focus more on being precise and consistent on pouring water. Overall, I think that this is a great upgrade on the V3 and I'm sure that many people will love it. Now, let's jump to the glass dripper. The brewer is made of borosilicate glass and the base is a BPA-free acrylic. The dripper is very solid and sturdy and this sensation is also given by the thickness of the glass. The board angle is the same as the Orea V3, but here the big change is on the bottom with a single big hole. This makes the coffee flow centrally and slightly change the dynamic of brewing. The glass conducts it slowly, so it will absorb the heat from the coffee slurry uh, quite slowly, but it doesn't hold it like, for example, uh, polycarbonate or polypropylene, because it radiates the heat pretty quickly. So it will reduce the temperature of the coffee slurry towards the end of the brewing. The result I'm achieving with a glass dripper is a well-balanced coffee with an increased mouthfeel. Now, when you place the filter both calita and flat, Make sure that the filter is on the bottom properly for a proper and consistent flow rate. With this dripper, central pour brewing methods work very well. It looks so nice and I really enjoy brewing with this dripper at home. The base, as I said, is a BPA-free acrylic and it doesn't attach to the brewer like it works with a V3, but it works as a holder. You just need to be a bit careful uh, if you're not used to it, but the system works very well and the brewer is always steady and always flat. You can find different colors on the website, just choose your favorite and start brewing. I will post a separate video about the Orea Glass Dripper here on my channel, where I will share with you some uh, recipes and tricks on how to get the best out of it. So stay tuned. And now the last brewer of the new Orea collection the big boy. As you can see, it's big and it's wide. It's made of polypropylene, like the V3, and also the board angle is the same. It has a white bottom with a central hole, but this hole is not where the coffee drains from the paper like it works uh, with a glass dripper. But thanks to the teeth on the bottom, again 32, like the Orea V3, the paper is lifted from the bottom. So the coffee can drain from the paper everywhere and not only in the middle. And then after the liquid is collected on the bottom, it flows centrally. Basically the hole is not the one that you see in the middle, but is the whole surface area of the bottom of the brewer. In this way, we benefit from the characteristics of a flat bottom brewer, where the water can flow uniformly through the coffee bed, and so we can achieve a sweet balanced cup of coffee that we can share 
with our partner, friends or family. The big boy allows us to brew from two to five cups of coffee. So uh, if you need to make a big brew for two or more people or you want to make the coffee for yourself to bring at work in a thermos, now you easily can. It works with different paper filters. So you can use the Orea Big Boy filters or you can use flat paper filters that you can fit with the help of the negotiator. The very good positive things is that no matter if you use ridges or flat paper filter, the Big Boy never clogs. And also the paper doesn't collapse when you pre-wet it. When you want to brew with this dripper, I suggest you a minimum amount of 40 grams of coffee you can use 30 grams, but you risk not having enough bad death. And this is a very important thing to consider when we brew with the Big Boy because it's wide bottom. I will share more about the Big Boy brewing methods and tips on a separate video, so make sure that you stay tuned so you won't miss it out. If you want to start brewing coffee with the new drippers, you can find very nice recipes on the Orea website. Just follow the link uh, in the description box below and start brewing delicious coffee for yourself, your family and your friends. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this new era of Orea? Uh, are you planning to get one of the drippers or are you actually thinking to get all of them? And also, which one is your favorite? Let me know by dropping a comment in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.